from the broadcast studio in the Department of Mass Communication at North Carolina Central University, this is Central News. Hello Eagles and welcome to Central News. I'm your anchor, Christopher Samar Jones. And I'm Ebony Williams. The NCCU football team continues to celebrate their HBCU National Championship victory by visiting the Governor's Mansion. The celebration continues for the Eagles here in 2023 as they took a trip to visit Governor Roy Cooper and the Senators of North Carolina. The team was able to come in for a mock meeting in which they were congratulated for their national championship victory. Senator Mike Wooder and Senator Natalie Murdoch, the two Senate members that represent Durham, toured the team through the legislative building. Following the tour, Governor Roy Cooper addressed the team in the governor's mansion and talked about future plans and opportunities for HBCU students. From mandatory testing to voluntary testing, everyone can now get free rapid tests at the NCCU's health department. Here's what Janae had to say about this. Although COVID cases had decreased ever since the first outbreak, NCCU's health and wellness department wants to keep it that way by offering free rapid testing for everyone. Rapid tests also known as rapid diagnostic tests, are easy to use tests that provide quick results, usually in 20 minutes or less. It is a self-take test that you can do at your own convenience. It's simple yet effective and more suitable than going to your doctor to get tested. Um, we know that our population on campus, like the students are always close-knit, um, always interacting with one another, so it places them at more of a high-risk category. And the one thing we want to do is make sure our campus and our community stay safe. Rapid tests are super painless. It is done by collecting a sample from each nostril using a swab. The swab will go only a few centimeters into your nose. Do not move the test after setting it aside. Wait a few minutes for your results. At home, COVID-19 antigen tests are expected to detect the virus at least 80% of the time when someone is infected. If you find out you've had symptoms, you can kind of sequester yourself away from everybody else. COVID cases on campus are determined from large gatherings. With large gatherings being at a minimum around campus the last couple of semesters, help COVID cases stay at a constant low. Any and all symptoms including runny nose, cough, fever, and scratchy throat are all signs that you should get tested. Protect the nest and protect yourself. The health clinic is close to the university effective February 1st. You can always go to Medicat through your EOL to find out when they'll be back open. In the meantime, go to your nearest pharmacy for rapid testing. Stay safe, Eagles. Reporting for Central News, Janae Hilliard. The campus garden is always open for volunteers. Fortunately, the garden provides more than one opportunity. The garden is open for children in grade school, NCCU students, and community members. The task consists of weeding, harvesting, and watering. Beyond getting your hands dirty, Participants can give tours and create graphic designs for social media. It's helped a lot of people through a lot of um, difficult times, whether grief through the loss of a loved one or divorce or things like that. The impact of this project leads to more than produce and flowers. The garden is a benefit to people's emotional and mental health. While you connect with the earth, you can give back to the community and yourself. I feel like it would be a great experience to have. Um, I can get community service hours and it can potentially start a new hobby. This volunteer opportunity will meet Tuesday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. during the spring semester, located near Marytowns. The organization is currently accepting donations and sponsorships for tools and resources. Students can reach to Matt Ferriton, the operations manager at T Ferriton at nccu.edu or nccu campus garden on instagram report for central news raven hawkins since 1910 nccu has continued to make leaders in society here's shaheem scarborough with more established in 1995 nccu student engagement and leadership organization has helped students fulfill their volunteer requirements for over a decade the seal organization is driven with a simple goal provide leadership development and learning experience for all students. The Organization of Student Engagement and Leadership focuses on developing student leadership and collaboration skills. The SEAL organization gives students opportunities to utilize their skills beyond the classroom. 
The organization provides not only a service to the community, but to students' futures as well. If you really want to understand how to find your passion and your purpose in life, we provide those opportunities. Serving as a unit with the University Events and Community Engagement Offices, the SEAL organization provides possible career interests and positions for NCCU students. The organization offers over 20 opportunities a month, helping students hone their skills year-round. I think it's good to have something like this in place in like a school because then it gives us an opportunity to get out into the community and help other people. Back in 1996, NCCU became the first HBCU to implement a 120 service hour requirement for undergraduate students. In the 2019 to 2020 academic year, NCCU students contributed over 180,000 service hours, modeling leadership and the university's motto of truth and service. For more information, make sure you visit www.nccu.edu slash Division Student Affairs. As an alternative to using styrofoam containers, the W.G. Pearson Dining Hall is now using reusable eco-containers. Introducing a new sleek reusable container that is now available in the W.G. Pearson Dining Hall. As a new start to the 2023 year, the CAF has introduced new containers for people who choose the to-go option. You can get one by stopping by the table at the CAF entrance and giving the staff your name and A2O number. You bring the container with you when you come back and drop it in the bin and they will give you another container. Whenever you're ready, stop by at the W.G. Pearson CAF and get your reusable eco container. After winning the championship in December, our NCCU football team is determined to build their bodies in the offseason. Here's Ja'Kai Brevard with more details on the story. For the past five years, the NCCU head strength and conditioning coach has been here to turn the program around. He believes in making the athletes bigger, stronger, and faster. The preparation of athletes during the off season is important. It is designed for the players to get developed and perfect their craft. Athletes come in the NCCU weight room to train throughout the week as well as condition their bodies. Do things the right way. So um, uh, coaching philosophy that I'm going to take into the off season is ABC, always be coaching. At NCCU, strength training has protected the athletes from injury. Building muscle contributes to the athletes having a better balance and will reduce their risk to fail. My philosophy as uh, an off-season program is movement quality. Strength and conditioning training at NCCU has enhanced the athlete's quality of life and improved their ability to do everyday activities. The NCCU strength staff is big on athletes' mobility as well as their flexibility. You can find out more on the school's website, Jacobavar. Central News. Are you looking to accomplish your body goals? Well, look no further. A gym is available for you right here in the nest. Just bring your Eagle card and of course, drive and dedication. So put on your athletic gear, lace up your sneakers, and come do your session at the LT Walker Complex. I mean, did you know we have massage chairs? If you're looking for a place to work out, the Lee Ward T Walker Complex is available and free for all NCCU students. Last month, the NCCU tennis team achieved their first home game win since 2020. Robert Fergus has more on the story. NCCU women's tennis team has had a slow start this season, but came back strong with a big one against UNC Greensboro 4-3. Here's why non-conference matchups are preparing the Eagles for MEAC tournament play. The women's win against UNC Greensboro was big. It was their first home game of the season, and the first home opening win since February 1st, 2020. NCCU has lost all three previous meetings against the Spartans, but gradually displayed improvement with the final scores. Now, in the 2023 season, Central finally broke through the wall and defeated the UNCG Spartans for the first time in program history. 
NCCU began their season facing number two ranked UNC Chapel Hill in East Carolina. The similarities between the two teams? Both teams are outside the MEAC and have a win percentage over 500. Here's what head coach Sophia Rachi had to say about the impact of non-conference play on our athletes. By the time come March, you know, everybody's nerves are gone, everybody's played, everybody's got sets under their belt, wins under their belt. So when come conference, which is the most important time, everybody's comfortable, confident, and that's all that we really ask for. Coach Rachi emphasized the great opportunity it is to play in one of the top competitive regions in the nation. For the team, surrounding yourself with good competition over time will make you better. The non-conference play is much more than just larger university exposure. It is molding our favorite athletes for high intensity tournament play. In March, the NCCU women's tennis team will be ready for any opponent and situation. Congratulations on the women's tennis team for their win. With the increased trends and individuality, fashion has made a true impact at NCCU. Here is my Kayla with more on fashion. I'm here outside of the Dent Human Science Building, which is located on 1801 Fayetteville Street, which holds our interior design and fashion majors. These students continuously represent authenticity and also in diversity. Historically black colleges and universities are known as safe places regarding to racism amongst predominantly white institutions. Projecting an image as an African American which isn't stereotyping us is saying such as dirty, lazy, and even unkempt is very important. Fashion in our culture is used as protection and makes others have no choice but to treat us with respect, just as whites are treated. Expressing ourselves through clothing demonstrates that just like whites, we are hardworking citizens and that we should be taken very seriously. A lot of different people express themselves in different ways through their clothing and their appearance, so that like plays a big role in just their day-to-day -day lives. Fashion here on NCCU campus isn't a competition amongst one another. Instead, it's all students each representing their own styles and being comfortable with themselves. The true meaning of fashion is exactly self-expression through styles. NCCU students hope to continue expressing themselves at events such as homecoming, athletic events, and fried chicken Wednesday and hopes of building connections which may lead to a future career in the fashion industry. With the increase of undergraduates, commuters are finding it hard to find parking. Josetta Ray has more details on the upcoming story. Students are becoming more aware that parking on campus is decreasing. Some students have to resort to parking off of campus in order to avoid getting ticketed and towed. Students were asked if there is enough parking on campus to accommodate students during a poll. 96% answered yes and 4% answered no. Central parking is at full capacity every day during school hours. Because of the limited parking on campus, it's forced me to park in an off-campus community. An estimated 1,296 first-year freshmen joined the class of 2026. An additional 393 transfer students registered for classes in 2022 to 2023 academic school year. Because I have a residential parking pass, I can only park in the residential areas on campus. In 2020, the acceptance rate was 87.4%. 6,553 students were accepted out of more than 7,000. Most universities do not allow freshmen to bring their vehicle on campus during their first year. Central is one of few to allow undergraduates to have a car. By the end of 2023, transportation services look to provide a park and ride lot for students serving up to 120 students. Reporting for Central News, Josetta Ray. Thank you for watching Central News. I am your anchor, Christopher Shamar Jones. And I'm Ebony Williams. And this is Central News. Oh,